We thought mass was boring, but my mom said, you know, we're Catholic. We never take a vacation from mass. That's so. a solid mom. You know. <laughs> it is. It, I, it is. And that's one of the reasons why I'm sitting here today is because of her prayers. Um, and she planted, my dad, you know, very faithful Catholic as well. And she planted, they both planted some very deep seeds in our lives. And, um, but the, I mean, we knew the church. We knew the truth about the church. We played a family rosary. We did all that kind of stuff. My mom forced me to go to like youth retreats and things like that. But, um, I didn't know my faith, and when I talk about knowing it, I didn't know it here. I was hor horridly uncatechized, and when I was in college, I, w the, I was dating a, a, a man who was, um, his father was a Southern Baptist minister, and this man would always challenge me. He's like, you, well, you Catholics, you guys worship Mary, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, do we? <laughs> you know, like for real, well, it was. I love yeah. your story because I was the exact, <laughs> I mean, when I tell you the exact same way, I dated a Baptist girl who knew her scripture, and whenever uh, she found out that I was, that at this point, I, I'd give my life to Christ through a, a Protestant retreat, and she was like, well, you're saved now, Josh. Are you still Catholic? And I was like, ah, uh, yeah. And she said, well, you know, Catholics worship Mary. And my exact response was, we do? <laughs> my mom does have a lot of Mary statues in the house, because I didn't know we don't. And I was like, and so I left the church because of what she told me. And it was uh, like, it was, it was great how the Lord worked through that whole experience. But as I'm hearing your story, I'm like, that's the exact same thing I went through. <laughs> exactly. And so even though I went to CCD and we did, I just, I don't know, somehow I missed the boat. I didn't really, I didn't really believe, and I, didn't, I guess I really didn't experience the reality that when the priest takes that piece of bread and he breathes on it mm -hmm. and it really becomes in persona Christi, in the person Jesus. of Christ, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, I had no idea. Um, I didn't know that when you go to confession and you're honest, with a priest, you're meeting the heart, the mercy, the merciful heart of Christ. It's not about the priest, so to speak. I mean, Definitely. he's not going to pass out, you know, and you speak the truth. Not only does Jesus heal you, but, you know, he gives you extra grace, but he also wills to remember your sin no more. Right. And, and that's I what's so powerful because that. sometimes people are scared of confession or even after they've confessed a sin, sometimes the evil one can bring it back up to you. And then you're like, oh man, I'm so bad for what I've done. And it's like, no, no, no. If you confessed it, it's done. It's over. The mm -hmm. Lord does not remember it anymore. So why are you remembering it? You know. Totally. Yeah. Definitely. It's I, I, over. I, I, totally. <laughs> so cool. Well, we often are we're our most diff, our most toughest critics, I guess you could say, because God forgives us and other people forgive us, but we're like, no, I must hold on to this. You know. But. Right.